Okay, five miles later and I still don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I just saw two very impoverished places. Uh, keep out, no trespassing, and then another 200 feet and there was a nice house on the left and I passed a cemetery and I passed New Hopeful Church and Hopeful Road and here's a nice mowing and not sure. Oh my gosh. Look what we have here. If only I knew where I was at. Beautiful lake. So this is one way to go exploring. <laughs> Just get on the road and go. Stunning! Okay, I get a little too excited. Much better to get out and take a picture of this area than to show you from the window. So I'll probably just delete most of that. There's homes back here. Wow. And I literally do not know where I'm at. I mean, I don't have cell service and I don't really care right now where I'm at because it's beautiful. And I just came from Cheetah Road onto the paved area and pulled off, let a couple people pass me. So there is some civilization, but I am so excited to get a few pictures here and take this all in on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. Because if I were in sticks and bricks, I called myself a news junkie. I'd have my, I'd be having a snack attack while I watch Fox News over and over and over and over, the same old, same old, hearing the same thing every single day. Oh, I'm so glad I'm not doing that. I can't begin to tell you. I do watch a little bit on YouTube, but it would, it would be constant day and night watching the news right now, if I were in sticks and bricks. I don't know, it was my company. I didn't care to watch TV programs. So there you have it, guys. We're headed to Millbrook at some point. <laughs> Camp Mac. Look how adorable, that one's called Safari. B zero, China B, Chiha, something, Camp Mac, mm, Palace, Drive It Road. Wow, I'll have to research where I'm at later. Camp Mac. Right up from the lake. Oh my gosh, where do you live? I live in the back hills of South Dakota, of Alabama. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm at, and that's the truth. And I just passed another home too. And a sign that said, leaving Talladega National Forest. Okie dokie. And I live right near the road outside of Talladega National Forest in Alabama. And I live in the biggest area, in the biggest house. Ooh, China Bee, 1835 to 1992. Okey doke. <laughs> Out in the boonies, yes we are. I'm digging it. First time to see a bunch of roosters and dogs barking. How fun is this? They're talking to me. Or are they talking to you? Where 
horses. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And more art. get home I got to get out of this you know and I don't feel that in the least look at the clouds it's so much fun guys you've got to do this living life large in the great unknown I just pulled over put the blinkers on oh my gosh someone uh, was gonna stop some lady and I waved her on I had to show you this. Look how cute. So much beauty. So much backwoods beauty. A little bit more. There's a shack back there. I love shacks. And a real nice home across the way. fun I can't even tell you I couldn't make this up if I tried this is like real life and this is away from all the negative outside influences that bombard us every single day every single day bombarded outside negative influences and you just step out into the great unknown and your head clear and your soul is sound and your heart is filled up
keeps getting better and better. And the church in the background there. Hey guys, how's your day going? Do you know what's going on in the world? Yeah, two churches, not one. Oh, and this is called Twin Church Road. Woo! I'm excited. Heading up towards the church now. Oh, this is so... I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm just having such an awesome time. Iron Nation Baptist Church. And then up there is another church. I'm gonna drive up there. Why not? Nobody around. United Methodist, the little church on the hill. And it's the closed gas station on the corner. Oh my gosh, this is an icon, right? Wonder if someday people will be touring this little place. Or do they tear places down like this? Or do they just leave them? I don't know, I just think it's so cool. I mean, it's not cool that it's closed. It's just cool to think about a place in time. The Coke, the Mountain Dew, the Pepsi signs, the old gas pumps and the mobile home right next door. It's probably their business, which is very sad. In the beautiful cotton fields, guys. Oh my gosh, this trip couldn't have been better. This day, these travels, I could have never planned this on Google. Never, ever. This cotton, cotton. I don't know if I've ever seen cotton fields before other than like in a museum or in a picture. Definitely not a somebody's farm. Beautiful home up on the hill. I love the colors. They've got four rockers there. There was a beautiful, called Cherokee Farms, across the way from that beautiful home. And then I'm heading down the hill. There's a big Baptist church. Well, I guess big in comparison for, you know, around here. These places, these places are like postcards. Oh, and there's a sign down there that says, thank you, Jesus. Can you see that? Wow. I think I gotta pull over and take a picture of that. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just, just, yes, thank you, Jesus. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. Look back there. They're thanking, I guess, the Lord, not I guess, for all that they've been given here. in Alabama. I want to go back to every state now and just get lost. I mean, I have a little bit, but uh, not, not like this. Not like this. I guess this is a good time to do it when everything's closed, right? Just get lost in the country. All right. We're on down the road. Hours later. A little more up close and personal. I just turned on a side road. Mm, look at the babies back there. Yes, this is their horses and fields. Their beautiful black and white and gray home. And a cabin over on the other side. Look at that. Do you see the cabin? Look, there's the cabin. 
And from the other side now, just so in awe of all of this. Have I said that yet? <laughs> Only a million times, right? Church across the way. And that's their view on the other side of the road. Yeah. Yep, I get so excited that I forget I'm going to turn around and I could take it from a closer angle. Wow, horses and cows. And there's a calf back there. staring at me. Springtime in Alabama. Can you believe it? And the babies. I have a fascination with rundown shacks and cabins and homes. I'd like to go inside and see what's in there and uh, figure out something. Or, you know, it's just it's just really cool to me. Does anyone else have that fascination? And I've been wanting to pull up to a couple, but I'm like, no, they're. It's probably private property or do not enter or something. And it feels kind of spooky. Okay, I would be remiss not to show you this and this symbolization of freedom. And all those who have sacrificed for our freedom, including all those people who are working so diligently with what's going on now in the country, making sacrifices for their families, working long hours, all of it, freedom. This is so beautiful, and I am so grateful. Just been traveling, traveling on down the road.